It's Nicole the Math Lady, and we're talking about equivalent division problems. So sometimes it's easier to think through your division problem and make it easy on yourself than doing the long-term math. And here's what I mean by this. So I have a number, 270 divided by 5. It's a division problem, and I could get my division bar out and do, you know, 5 into 270 and figure it out. But what if I was just, you know, at the grocery store and I had this question in my head, I had to figure this out. What if I made it easy on myself? What if I doubled both of the numbers? Watch, if I double 270, I get 0, 0, 0, 7, 7 is 14, 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 is 5. I double 270, I get 540. I double 5, I get 10. Now it's a lot easier to divide 10 into 540. Really, if I drop both of these zeros, I get 54 divided by what? And my answer is 54. And we will see that if I do the long division math, 5 into 27 is 5, 2 is left over, 5 into 20 is 4, I still get 54. But all I had to do was double it, and I could do it in my head. Let's look at another example. Is there a way that we can make math easier on us? Take a look at this problem. 3,000 divided by 15. Now again, I could do the long division of that. Or can I think, is there a way that I can get this 15 to be a nicer number to divide into? Let's double everything and see what happens. If I double 3,000, I get 6,000. If I double 15, I get 30. That looks a lot easier to divide. If I can get rid of a zero here, I can get rid of a zero there. So it's 3 into 600, which we know is the same thing as saying 200. And all I did was just double it because it's the same relationship when you divide. Let's try just one more. Here I have a problem with fractions. This looks like a hot mess for us to do, but wait, let's just think, can we find an equivalent form of it? Let's try doubling this. So four and a half times two would be uh, nine. One and a half times two, or one and a half plus one and a half, is three. That's a heck of a lot easier to do in my head. Nine divided by three equals three. That's my answer. So we're always just looking to see. See if you could you know, multiply it by two. You could double it. You could half it. What could you do to make it easier? Again, since we're doing division, it's the same relationship. You're just trying to get easier numbers to do the math. And that's it. Make sure you try a few practice problems, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.